Welcome to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving deep into a scandal that's shaken the entertainment world. The recent arrest of Sean Kingston's mother, Janice Turner, and the subsequent allegations of fraud involving the singer himself. On May 23rd, a dramatic scene unfolded at Sean Kingston's Donia Beach, Florida home. The Broward County Sheriff's Office and the Davie Police SWAT team executed a raid, culminating in the arrest of 61-year-old Janice Turner. Turner, no stranger to the law, faces numerous fraud and theft charges. Her history of filing false loan applications and bank fraud paints a troubling picture. But what's more shocking are the allegations linking her actions to her son, Sean Kingston. Attorney Dennis Card, representing one of Kingston's alleged victims, didn't mince words. He described a meticulously organized fraud scheme implicating both Turner and Kingston. According to Card, Kingston has been living a life of luxury at others' expense. His love for extravagant bling, high-end sound systems, and custom furniture, like an $80,000 bed, were highlighted as examples of the goods acquired without payment. Card's client alone claims losses, including a $150,000 television sound system and around $1 million worth of watches. The deeper we go, the darker it gets. Card accuses Kingston of using his celebrity status to deceive and defraud. He reportedly lures victims by boasting about his connections, including alleged collaborations with Justin Bieber. But the reality, as per the allegations, is far from the glamorous facade. Kingston's modus operandi involves renting luxurious homes, presenting an image of wealth and success, and then convincing victims to release high-value items without upfront payment. In a lawsuit filed by watch company DreamWatch, Kingston's fraudulent behavior is laid bare. The company detailed how Kingston approached them in 2022 to purchase two high-end watches, a Richard Milley model RM 65.01 automatic and a Patek Philippe caliber. Despite promises and multiple excuses about banking issues, Kingston never paid. The representative who flew from Malaysia to Los Angeles to deliver the watches was left high and dry as Kingston's supposed wire transfer never materialized. These accusations are not isolated. Kingston is currently on felony probation for trafficking in stolen property and has multiple judgments against him for unpaid goods. His pattern of behavior, as described by Card, is consistent and deeply troubling. The implications of these actions are vast, potentially affecting numerous victims and tarnishing the reputation of those who may have associated with him professionally. But how does this affect the broader music and entertainment industry? Kingston's actions, if proven true, could lead to significant distrust between artists and suppliers. The music industry relies heavily on trust and reputation, and cases like this undermine the foundation of these relationships. For fans, it's a betrayal. Kingston, known for his hits and his public persona, may lose the support and trust of his audience. This story is still developing, and as of now, Sean Kingston has not been charged with any crime related to the alleged fraud. However, the evidence and accusations piling up against him suggest that this is not the end of the story. The court's decision in the DreamWatch case will be particularly telling. If they rule in favor of the company, it could set a precedent for other victims to come forward and seek justice. In conclusion, the allegations against Sean Kingston and his mother are not just another celebrity scandal. They highlight a deeper issue of trust and fraud in the entertainment industry. As fans and consumers, it's crucial to stay informed and vigilant about who we support and trust. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, comment and share it with others. For more exclusive content like this, make sure to subscribe to the Red Carpet Reup and turn on post notifications so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching.